morning everyone how is everyone doing this morning i hope that your day is off to a wonderful fantastic start if this is your first time here hi my name is carrington not your first time here hi welcome back if you enjoy all things makeup and would love to join this dumpster fire family make sure you guys go ahead hit that subscribe button click the little bell to be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and let's dive on in all right, it is favorites time, which is wild to me that we are at favorites time, but it is indeed favorites time. It's a new month. The year is already halfway over, which I am just like, wow about, but yes, it is halfway over. So I have quite a few favorites that we're going to like dive and talk about. Some are new products, some are older products, but we definitely have a lot to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dive right on in. All right, so I'm first gonna start off with like just like some basic like eye primer things to help you out with your eye looks. Um, so first up is going to be this Duo Lash Glue. I literally love this. Comes with like a little brush. This dries down clear. This is probably the one that I always use. There is a Kiss one that I like as well. I don't have that anymore in my collection, but I do enjoy that one as well. But I think this is a great option for trying to glue down your lashes. The Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner is my absolute favorite eyeliner. I don't ever, I don't wear eyeliner a whole lot. Like, I don't know if you can tell, like, based on my eyes. Like, I just don't ever really wear a whole lot of eyeliner. But if I'm going to be using, um, like, lashes, I definitely want to be able to hide the band. So I do go into an eyeliner. This is my tried or true. It goes over literally everything. It goes over glitters. It goes over, like, just smoothly, too. Like, no skip, nothing. And it's super black, super pigmented, long-lasting. Absolutely love this eyeliner. Then we have the NYX um, Glitter Primer. I absolutely love this. This is what I use almost every single day when I am placing something on the lid, whether that be a shimmer, a metallic, a duochrome, a, uh, what else? A duochrome, a glitter, you know, whatever the case may be, as long as it's not a matte, I am literally putting this on my eyes and putting something over it. I feel this holds my, um, you know, products into place really well, kind of gives it a little bit more vibrancy. So if you have not tried that trick with your eyes, I would definitely recommend it and get this next one. It's literally super cheap. Next up is going to be an eye primer. This is the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. Yep, this is what it's called, Rare Beauty Eye Primer. This is really good. Um, I literally always like go and like put this back in my collection and forget about it because I really do love like my Ultimate Eye Primer, like just like things like that. And so I'm just like going through those and I forget about this. And then I pulled it out again for like a this or this and I used it again and I fell in love with it again. This is a really, really good eye primer. Um, I really find that it holds my eyeshadow for a very long time, no matter what eyeshadow formula that I'm using. I think it does a phenomenal job. I feel like it is definitely really far up there with the Ultimate Eye Primer. I did a review of like different eye primers. I didn't use this one because this one hadn't come out yet. And I, you know, I'm kind of really interested to see how this would compare to the Ultimate Eye Primer, by like priming my eyes with one and the other. But this is a really, 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 really good high-end option. Another fantastic option that I just discovered is this Jaclyn First Base Eyeshadow Primer. I love this. This stays so well. I know this was formulated for like her mom who's a little bit older, has some texture, has some like, you know, creases in her lids. And you know, I'm young and I have like some texture and some creases in my lid. And so I used this and I really wasn't like, I don't know, expecting a whole lot, but this was really, really good. Again, the Rare Beauty, the Ulta, and this are just, I mean, they are up there and probably one of like my top three must-have eyeshadow primers. So let's go ahead, let's move on into some brows and mascara. So first off, I have only just like two mascaras to talk about, but these are my favorite. I love using them together. So we have the Maybelline Sky High and the Maybelline The Falsies. I did find out, because I didn't know since this was in a black tube, if it was like a different formula. It is not, it's just like a, it's like a deeper, darker color. And then we have the Falsies. I love these two together. That's what my are on my eyelashes right now. So I love the Sky High because it really does keep them nice and separated, makes them very dark, very black, very, very lifted. Um, and also very very long so I love that whereas the falsies ones come in and it adds a little bit of some volume while still keeping the lashes separate and that's what I need for my lash I need something with length and volume and I feel like these two just like give me like the perfect like amount of like length and volume that I want I don't have like the long like the most full of lashes but I do feel like for the lashes that I do have this does a fantastic job and then I don't feel like I always have to go in with lashes which can be you know like time consuming and <sighs> like just like take the taking off process and stuff like that like it's just it's a lot so sometimes I just like being able to have like two solid mascaras that I can pair together and get very beautiful lashes 
Next up is going to be some eyebrow products. So I have two brow gels. So the first up is going to be the Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel. This is clear. I really do like this. I really felt like it really held my brows in place. I think that the, the wand was all right. It was decent. I really don't mind this. I think this is a really good, um, a really good affordable gel clear, gel clear, clear brow gel option that you can get at Ulta. The next one is a little bit more high end and this is the one size. This is the Brow Kiki Tinted Nourishing Brow Gel. Mine is in the shade Soft Brown. I absolutely love this because this is a perfect cool tone for my hair. Well, like, I mean, it's a little bit light, but like when it goes in the brows, it's like this perfect cool tone for my hair, but also has good enough pigment. Um, for me, whenever I, it's the same thing with brow pencils too. Like I have his brow pencil that I'm going to be raving about, the Brow Kiki. This is in medium brown. Um, this is the part that like blows me away a lot. This is what's like in my brows right now. So usually whenever I'm getting something that's like a medium brown or something like that is so warm, it's like so orange and my hair is not warm. My hair is very much a cool tone. And it's, so it's either if I want to do a cool tone, I need either to go up shades where it's like way too dark or I need to go down shades where it's just too light and there was no happy medium and I was just so upset about like there not being a happy medium and then I discovered this and it's a perfect happy medium so if you are an, anybody like me where you're just like I have medium hair but it's cool tone everything else is warm I think you're going to really enjoy this the next brow pencil is going to be this Uoma baby hair brow pencil what is mine in the shade mine is in the shade no idea does it say? 05. That's all it says. So I'm not really for sure what the shade um, actually is. But again, I think it does a really good job. I think it's a really nice, you know, shade. Really nice, really cool. Um, you know, whenever I use it, my brows look really, really good. So those are really good brow options. If you are like me, can't find a whole lot of that are in your shade range, those are two really good options. So then we have some setting sprays to talk about. I have three. The first one is going to be this NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh. I literally forgot all about this in my collection until I did a this or that video where somebody picked my makeup. And I am like, why did I forget about this? This is so good. First and foremost, the mist, so good. Doesn't really have like a very, like an artificial fragrance. Like it doesn't smell like rose, doesn't smell like coconut, doesn't smell like, you know, a spa like anything like that it literally just is like a very nice no scent kind of a spray fantastic fantastic spritzer and again you can use this to like you know prime your face you know have something really nice and hydrating but I really do love this it doesn't disrupt my makeup it doesn't make my makeup look bad like literally I can just sit there and just go like that oh my face smells so good the same is true for this um color pop pretty fresh I will say though with this one though it definitely smells like coconut. So if coconut bothers you, scents bother you, you're not gonna like this. But if you want something that has that really good, nice mist, you're gonna enjoy this one. But I really love both. I think they both do the exact same thing. They really sink into my skin, really help my makeup not look so powdery, really looks nice and healthy on the skin, doesn't emphasize any of my texture. These are fantastic for like your hydrating options if you have dry skin. Um, a, the best option for like holding my makeup like making sure like my makeup is gonna last and stay is my urban decay all-nighter people have raved about this for a long time i have raved about this i've gone through i don't even know how many of these in my makeup career because honestly this is so good if i need something that i know is going to set and hold my face it's going to be this it does not have any dewy properties. It doesn't have any glowy properties. And I don't really find that it has a whole lot of hydrating properties. I literally find that it's kind of like a skin-like finish and this is going to hold in your makeup. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's dive on into some highlighters. I've got a few to talk about. The first up is going to be these Give Me Glow Cosmetics Highlighter. This one right here is in the shade You Want a Peach of Me. Comes in like this cute little compact. But here's the thing. These are like beaming highlighters like let me just like do you see that I mean look how wet that is and how beaming I love that when I'm wearing a highlighter there are times when I want something that's a little bit more like lit lit no lit from within is that what I'm trying to say lit from within type of like glow and this is not this is not one of those highlighters if you want to lit from within this is not going to be for you I am definitely one where I'm like 
you know, sending in signals from space. Like, I, like literally, it's like we're doing Morse code with my highlighter. That's what I'm wanting. I am wanting when I'm driving down the car, like I am the sun. That's what, like, that is my, like, in mind. Like, not like the sun, like that creepy baby from the Teletubbies, because I was just, that was kind of creepy if we're going to be honest. Uh, but, you know, like, I'm just, like, beaming. I am the sun. Everybody is going to, like, be like, wow, that highlighter. Um, and that's what this gives, and that's what I love. And I love the different tones and ranges that they have. They have something in there for every single skin tone, no matter what your preference is. They've got purples. They've got pinks. They've got champagnes. They've got golds. They've got purples. Like, they've got other, like, wild colors that are, like, in there for any skin tone. So I absolutely love the Give Me Glow Cosmetic Highlighters. The next one was one that I just discovered. This is from Glam Light. This is the Pina Colada Highlighter. I had tried the um, Michaela What's Poppin' Highlighter. That is a fantastic highlighter as well. I just want to like, first and foremost, say that. that was a fantastic highlighter. But this highlighter, I feel like it's also like very similar to that. Uh, like you see, I mean, again, it's just like very boom in your face, a very like everyday type of tone, especially for like my dark skin tone. Love that. Love like the packaging. It came with like the little like, you know, wine alcohol-ish collection. And so I picked that collection up and I have this and I mean again, so good. All right. So then moving on, we have this from Ofra. This is the Start Inspired. I honestly love all of the highlighters from Ofra. Again, it's definitely just very just like wow in your face. Like very much so seeing like all of these right there seeing you from space love this the one thing that I really love about this one is you kind of have like it's almost like a three-in-one so what I like is you have like these pinks which is kind of like the pillow talk shade um, so you could just you know dip into those if you want something a little bit more pink he has something that's like a golden champagne so you can definitely dip into that or you can mix them to create like a pinky champagne kind of color so I love it this is kind of like a three-in-one but honestly all the Ofra highlighters super good very fantastic formula the last highlighter is from Game Beauty. I also just discovered this. So they have a whole bunch of other ones. This one is one that's in purple. So I'm just going to go ahead. Like, do you see that like shift? I don't know if you can tell like the shift on camera. <sighs> okay. So it's, it definitely looks like a white icy highlighter, but it definitely has like this like purpleness to it. Ugh, I don't know why you guys, it's hard for you guys to see on camera, but like, Okay, it's hard, maybe hard for you guys to see like the shift on camera, but like in person you can totally see like that purple shift and it is so beautiful. Like if you're creating like a purple look and you really want like a purpley highlighter, it's not like too intense, too like wow in your face, um, too much of a purple shift. I think you're really going to enjoy these. They also have them in green, gold, orange, maybe that's it, red maybe. I can't remember all the ones that, that they had. There's like five. Um, but the, it's really good. It comes in like this really nice compact, super beautiful shift. I am going to throw in one skincare product that I discovered. So I had gotten this Tony Moly Watermelon Dew All Over Serum. My kids and my um, husband picked this up for me. I love this. Now, I think I talked to you guys, like there was a um, trim move box that had like some stuff from Juvia's Place and it had a dewy skin serum. I love that one as well. And then we had one that I bought, which was from Derma E, I think, or Derma no, it was Derma E. Derma E, which is like a dewy skin one, and I hated that because, like, the scent is awful. But this is my all-time favorite scent of all of these. It has that watermelon scent I love. It feels hydrating, gives a beautiful glow to the skin. Absolutely a fantastic product. 10 out of 10 would recommend this if you're looking for something with, like, that'll make your skin very nice and dewy. All right, so let's move on to bronzers. First, I have a couple cream bronzers. So the first cream bronzer is going to be this Milk Makeup um, Matte Bronzer Stick. I love this. This is so good. I love. I got like the mini size, and I feel like that's all that I need. But like, it's so good. It's a good color. It's very, very emollient, um, and then it just blends just so nicely, so effortlessly. Beautiful color, beautiful shade. I don't find it to be too warm and I don't find it to be like too cool either. I feel like this is like the perfect like in between shade, especially for me. Um, you know, I can either draw it on my face, put some on the bottom of my sponge, you know, put some on the back of my hand, dab it in with the sponge, you know, whatever the case may be, no matter how I'm using this product, it's really good, really emollient, uh, super easy to use. 
The next cream one is going to be the Jaclyn Cosmetics Cream Bronzer. I wish this was not like limited edition. This is again such a good bronzer. And the thing that's like wild to me about this bronzer is that like it's just it's perfect for those of us with fair skin. Like this, mine is in the shade Nakey. So this is perfect for those of us with fair skin. It literally is like the perfect color. It is a little bit leaning more on the warm. Whereas, you know, this one is kind of like a happy, like medium. I feel like the Jaclyn is definitely leaning just slightly a little bit more warm. But I find with this that it's, it's really hard to go overboard, which is fantastic because sometimes when you have fair skin, you know, you can easily go overboard. And I'm just like, ooh, I don't want to go too overboard. But I find with this, you can't go, you can't go overboard unless you're just like really trying. Blends out beautifully, very emollient, very creamy, looks very good and healthy on the skin. Love this. So now we're going to move on to the two powder highlights. The first one is going to be this one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer. I know like looking at this in the pan, I could see some of you guys being like, oh, that's, that's real light. I mean, this is for fair skin. Like that's what it says. Like this is for one fair pale. And I am fair and I am pale. So I was really nervous that this wasn't going to show up. That is not the case. This 100% absolutely shows up on the skin. Looks absolutely beautiful and stunning. Um, I love that it does just look very nice and kind of like an airbrush bronzer. I don't find it to be like really heavy, muddy, cakey, anything like that. I feel like it just blends and just sinks into the skin ever so beautifully and gives just like the right amount of color that I need for me being as fair as I am. The next up and the last one is going to be this one size um, bronzer trio. This was, this is very interesting because, oh man, that looks even lighter than like the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I was like, oh, this is not going to go well. All of these show up. They're so good. So you have like a very like light everyday bronzer. You have a little bit of a deeper bronzer and you have a more of a contour shade. I absolutely love using this. Um, it's super easy to use, you know, just take a brush, kind of contour out a spot, Take the bronzers, you know, whichever one, and, you know, make your skin look a little bit more bronzed. Seriously, super easy to use. I have had no issues with this. I have used this so many times. Still no issue. Comes with a nice mirror. I love that you have three options, and these really are three options dedicated to those of us with fair skin. I feel like sometimes people make, like, fair-skinned options, and I'm just like, this is, this is maybe more for, like, light, light-medium type skin tones. Not fair, but this is not the case with this. I think this is absolutely perfect for those of you with those of us with fair skin all right so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive on into some powders so first things first is i have this give me glow setting powder they are sadly discontinuing their setting powders i'm hoping that means they're going to come out with something else but i really do love this i don't necessarily know that i love this for underneath the eyes because it is definitely like a very like uh heavy duty kind of powder so if you are very glowy and you want something to take away that shine this is going to be a great powder for that um, but I will say that it doesn't look that great under the eyes, but I mean on the skin, that's like the powder that I'm wearing today. It literally just like airbrushes like my skin. It's such a good, easy to use powder. I'm really sad that they're discontinuing it. The next one is going to be the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Powder Foundation. This is fantastic. Again, it's, it definitely is like a powder. You can use this as a powder foundation. I have really dry skin, like dry, dry, dry skin. So the fact that I can even use this as a powder foundation, I can set this on top of any powders, just like anything like that, and it works out so well. I absolutely love this. Great option, especially even if you have dry skin. The next up is going to be this Menagerie Camouflage Soft Focus Setting Powder. Literally, this, again, it's I can use this under the eyes. I can use this everywhere. This is probably my favorite um, indie brand setting powder it seriously is so good I love how like it has like this net here and then it has like this stopper so you're not getting like powder all over the place no matter if you drop it or whatever love that about it and the again the, the formula is really good as well the next one is going to be this glowish by Huda Beauty so this is definitely has like a little bit of like some like radiance to it like you can definitely just like tell like on the skin like there's some radiance to your skin so I don't necessarily love this for underneath the eyes I do want something else a little bit more matte not quite as glowy because it does emphasize like my texture and things like that under my eyes but all over the face this is phenomenal I love using this whenever I want something that's like really just like 
easy to use, just like throw all over the face, keeps my skin looking glowy and healthy. I'm definitely reaching for this. I mean, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, I don't know if you'll like that if you're super oily, just because, you know, it is very luminous, very radiant. Um, and, you know, your oils are going to help you look very luminous and radiant. So I don't know if you'll necessarily love that. But for me with dry skin, I absolutely do. The very last setting powder to talk about is going to be this Jaclyn, um, what is this called? Set Brightening and Setting Palette. Um, I literally only use like these two. The other ones are a little bit too deep. I could maybe go in with this one for like a setting shade. I typically only really like these for underneath the eyes. So with this, I just easily just like take my sponge dip in and then like press it underneath my eyes. That's what I have underneath my eyes today is that it's so beautiful, seriously. This is phenomenal. I know there was like a learning curve with this. I don't really particularly like this with the brush. I literally just like to take my sponge and then just press it in. That's my favorite way to use this. Now let's move on to the primer category. I do have quite a few primers to talk about. Primers was like a hit for me this month. Not as much as another category. There was two categories where I was like, I love everything. But um, so first off for the primers, I've raved about this before. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. You guys, seriously, there's nothing better than this. I mean, there might be, but... I, I love this so much. This seriously is just so hydrating on your face, but it doesn't like, it doesn't, it doesn't really feel sticky. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel too heavy. It literally just sinks beautifully into the skin. And I have not found a foundation, tinted moisturizer, tinted sunscreen, um, tinted serum. Like I have not found anything that this is not compatible with. I feel like this goes perfectly under all makeup. If you are dry, this is 100% a product I feel like is going to be like a staple in your collection. Seriously, I, I, I mean this wholeheartedly, an absolute staple in your collection. The next thing that I probably rave about a lot is this Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I have now used it down to here. I am, I am going ham on this. This is fantastic. I love the way that this blurs my pores. This is a little bit more of like a mattifying type product. Um, so I do have to be a little bit careful where I'm applying this. Like I really need to just focus it just like right here. Don't go any farther or anything like that. Just literally just right here. But the way that it blurs my pores is just phenomenal. I think if you have like oily skin or combo skin, you would really love this. Um, if you have dry skin, again, you have to be very, very careful on how you are using this. But as you can tell, I keep using this. I cannot get enough of this. The I mean, I'm, I, I seriously nothing has really been able to compare to how it really just like fills in the pores it's it's absolutely phenomenal um then we have the nyx bear with me sunscreen daily moisturizing primer again like i forgot about this and then i put it in a this or that and i use this and again it just really is really hydrating i love that it has the spf aspect i mean there's nothing about this that i just i really don't love i think this is a fantastic primer. It's a really good drugstore option. I do like the NYX marshmallow one a little bit more than I like this one, but again, it, it's a good option. And then we're going to move on to the one size secure the blur. Again, this is a really, another really good, um, pore filling primer. The one thing I will say about this is this is a little bit more skin. Like I don't find it to be as mattifying as the airbrush. So if I am definitely like feeling like extra dry, or I just feel like I have some, some texture in this area, then I'm probably going to go in with this. I also like the Tatcha liquid silk canvas for that one. I feel like it does still add hydration. So for this one, if I don't want any extra added hydration, I'll go in with this. If I want some extra added hydration, I'll go in with the Tatcha. If I'm okay with doing something a little bit more matte, I will go in with this. However, I feel like this reigns supreme from all of them with how well it blurs the pores. It doesn't get rid of your pores. Okay. It's just not going to happen, but it definitely does help blur them. So I love that. All right. So moving on to a, uh, primer that I discovered this month. This is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. I have this on underneath my skin today. As you can tell, like it definitely does just provide a very, very nice and beautiful glow to the skin. I don't find that it adds any hydration. It doesn't mattify, anything like that. I feel like all it does is literally just provide a very beautiful glow to the skin. So there are times like today where I was just like, I don't want to add any more hydration. I don't really want to mattify, but I do want a little bit of a glow without feeling like overly hydrated it's because I'm using a whole bunch of like really hydrating stuff today and I didn't want to overdo it. So I went in with this and it's just, it's beautiful. It doesn't add extra hydration, anything, but it really does add that beautiful glow. Seriously. So beautiful. The next one that's in my favorites, which honestly, 
shocked my socks, was this Danessa Myrick's uh, Yummy Skin. This is in Universal. I really love, I don't really care for this as like using this by itself all day, which they say you can do. I really just like using this specifically um, to like fill in my pore area. And that's what I'm using today, like right in this area. And seriously, it did a phenomenal job just kind of smoothing over some of my texture, smoothing over some of those pores. Um, this is phenomenal. I like literally I didn't really care for like the other two yummy skin products and I was like I'm not gonna purchase this but I'm a sucker and I did and I'm really glad that I did. This is really really good as well. It fell. Um, so this is the Moira Beauty Rose Jelly Hydrating Primer. This is really really good. When it says this is hydrating I can feel feel the hydration like it's literally feels like my skin is drinking this the only downside is it does have that rose scent and i just uh i hate it but i just love the way it i'm willing to overlook it because i love the way it made my skin look and feel and it just looked hydrated and dewy and plump and supple and it felt that way so like i'm willing to overlook the scent but i would love an, a non-scented option which unfortunately they didn't have so that was disappointing but this is fantastic. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to move on into some like foundation concealer type things. This is where I was like super successful, had a super successful uh, month, like finding like just stuff that was like really good. Um, so first up is this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have raved about this before. I used it again. Again, this is, I mean, it literally does what it says. It makes my skin look beautiful. It looks really nice, really healthy, really glowy just really supple provides a really good amount of coverage I, you know it's not really necessarily full coverage I think it's a good medium type coverage which is something that I'm personally into I'm not really into like super full coverage so this gave me like everything that I was looking for the hydration the coverage the dewiness um the wear power just like everything like that this is a fantastic option I know it is a little bit expensive uh, but another really good contender would be like the Revlon Candid Glow this has been out for a while like I know that and I literally just forgot about it this I will say is a little bit less coverage than like the Charlotte Tilbury but I do feel like it gives kind of like the same effect where it's just like very nice hydrating supple things like that so if you're wanting you know less coverage than what the Charlotte Tilbury can give I would definitely say check this one out if you want more coverage then definitely give the Charlotte Tilbury a try but I think these are both fantastic awesome formulas great you know great on the skin i i have no issues with this especially with my dry skin don't know how well these would work for like oily skin but for dry skin let me tell you we're now going to go back and we're going to rave about this kosas foundation i seriously this is so good if i am needing something that has like the spf has a good amount of coverage but i feel like it's going to like really stay all day um I, I'm reaching for this. I brought this with me on vacation um, when I knew it was going to be really hot outside. I was going to have to sit outside. I was going to sweat. Um, I wanted to make sure I had something that was going to stay really well, not look overly dewy because I was going to be sweating, um, but still, you know, made my skin look good and healthy and not overly cakey or matte or anything like that. And this was it. I mean, this is such a good concealer, such, such a good foundation. I mean, like seriously, such a good foundation. I've heard some people say they don't like this. It ain't me because I love this. So then the next that we're going to go back to raving about is going to be this LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I just discovered this. Wow, I was missing out on my whole like my whole life. I am not going to lie. Literally, the LYS um, line is is one of my favorites. Like it's so good. It has like you know, it's very hydrating, um, looks great on the skin, sinks perfectly into my skin, doesn't overly emphasize any of my texture or dry patches. It's just, it's phenomenal. I mean, the packaging is super nice and luxe. And one thing that I absolutely love about this is I feel like this is like really good Sephora quality, like products, you know, how like they're more high end, so they should be more luxe and worth your while. And I feel like this is, but like the price point of this is super fair. Like the, this price point compared to all the other like Sephora doesn't even come close because this is just so much cheaper. And honestly, I probably, between it's like between this and the Kosas is like my top favorite for right now, but wow, are they good. Another one, which I am just like ashamed to admit that I love this as much as I do, is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I didn't want to purchase this for the longest time because I was like, this is way too expensive. Like, I know. Um, but finally, I was like, you know what? I've heard so many people rave about this. I'm just I'm just going to bite the bullet. If I hate it, I hate it. You know, that's on me. Um, I love it. 
I love it. It's so good. It's almost like a very like your skin but better kind of foundation and I just love, I hate how much I love this, honestly. Like it's, if you've ever been thinking about it and you're just like, I don't know if it's going to be for me, I, I'm pretty sure it will be because this is such a good foundation. I hate admitting that, but seriously, it's so good. All right, next up is going to be this L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Seriously, that's what I'm wearing on my face today is like this tinted serum. It's it's so good. I know this blew up on TikTok and not, I mean, I know why, because this is seriously so good. The one issue I'm having is like my dropper just like won't pick anything up inside the dropper. Like I can't get anything to come out. So literally whatever product comes off on the dropper, I have to rub on my hand and like, you know, put on my face. But this is so good. And it's a drugstore product. Seriously, go check this out if you are interested in like a tinted serum that leaves your skin really nice, hydrated, healthy, doesn't look cakey, really sinks into the skin. That is a great drugstore option, hands down. The last foundation before we move on into concealers is the Rare Beauty uh, Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. Wow, is this a good product. I have used this almost nonstop um, since I tried it. Um, I've tried it with like cream products. Seriously, beautiful, so good. So I just love, it says positive light. So I do feel like it does add like a glowiness to my skin without it feeling like slippy, without it like breaking apart. Like it, it's literally like, it just, I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, like you have like it just like like sinks in so beautifully into the skin it doesn't like slip and slide doesn't like break apart but it looks like radiant like you just look very very radiant very healthy very dewy without feeling the dewiness i don't know if that makes any sense this is serious it's so good i love this i probably honestly um instead of like this little like applicator would have preferred a pump but I'm not going to be picky. I think this is fantastic. This is prob probably one of my favorite products from Rare Beauty. Like, honestly, so good. So now we have a couple of concealer options to talk about. The first one isn't necessarily a concealer. This is a lavish color correcting concealer. It's in the shade Peaches and Cream. So it's like this very light pink. I'm wearing this on my... Um, underneath my concealer today and so I really just love to just like put it right here like you can see the indentation but as for like the darkness this drastically like cuts it down and reduces it and it's super affordable like, this is like seven dollars um, and you get a good amount of product in here for seven dollars you get 7.5 mils so I feel like that's really good really affordable um, and again it's just it does a really good job of doing that like that color correcting love that the next one is going to be this Lawless Conceal the Deal Full Coverage Concealer. I don't necessarily know that it's like super full coverage. I will say it's definitely like a high medium, but I absolutely love this. Um, I love the fact that it is like that high medium, a little bit more of like that full coverage, but it's still really nice, really hydrating underneath the eyes. I think it does a fantastic job. Um, you know, I hadn't ever heard of this before. I hadn't really tried a lot from Lawless. I tried like the Forget the Filler Plumping Lip gloss and I thought that wasn't like necessarily really worth the money um and so I tried this out and I love this it's so good this is not what I'm wearing today the concealer that I am wearing today is this from NYX the NYX bear with me concealer serum revolutionary let me just repeat myself revolutionary this is so good I love how like hydrating it is you can get this at the drugstore Super affordable. That's what I'm wearing right now. Like underneath my eyes, like even though I have a powder, I mean, look, it just still looks very hydrating, really luminous, really dewy, you know, doesn't feel tacky, doesn't feel sticky, looks really good underneath my eyes, blends out beautifully. You don't need a ton of this to get like that coverage that you need. Again, it's like a super good product. This is probably my favorite concealer right now. I just, I love this so much. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's dive on into some lip options. So first off are these Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liners. You know, these last a very good amount of time. Like these mask, mask, these last a insane amount of time. Seriously, this is so good. Um, and they're like $18. <clears throat> I feel like these are, <clears throat> oh my gosh. I feel like these are like pretty comparable with, um, like the Charlotte Tilbury with like the staying powder, the creaminess, things like that. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury might stay just slightly a little bit longer, but 
you're almost paying like half the price for this. So definitely worth checking out. Um, next up, we're just going to go on into the Jaclyn um, Liquid Lips. I love these. If I'm needing something that I know is going to last, going to stay, going to look perfect. Like I've done wear tests on videos where I'm wearing this and I literally haven't touched up and the product is still there. Like it doesn't look as perfect as when you first apply it, but the fact that it's still there, still holding on, still doing a good job, says a lot about this formula. Can be a little bit drying, so just make sure that you are priming your lips. If you prime your lips with something on underneath, you know, when you start your makeup and then finally get to the lips as the last thing, then I, I really have no issues with this. And this is my favorite shade. It's called You Guys. It's like this like purpley type shade. Absolutely love this. It's like a grunge purple, which I'm always here for. Next up is going to be these Lunar Beauty Lip Oils. Oh! So he released three. They come in like different scents. There's like watermelon, mango, and they kind of have like this one that like looks more clear. This one that's like a light pink and this one has a little bit more pink. They all just kind of appear the same on the lips. I love the scent. The watermelon one's probably my favorite. Uh, I'm just like a water, I'm a sucker for watermelon scents. Um, probably my favorite, but I love how it like plumps up my lips. It makes it look so healthy, so juicy. Oh, it's so good. It doesn't get sticky. Doesn't get like, you know, too thick, too goopy. It's literally just like the perfect, perfect lip oil. And I love these so much. I'm so glad he came out with them. Seriously, such a fantastic formula. Also from Lunar Beauty is going to be his matte liquid lipsticks. Um, I don't know. Are these called? I don't know if they're like matte liquid lipsticks or like satin liquid lipsticks or something like that. Because they're not as drying down as like a matte and they also don't like last as long but this is seriously it's so comfortable i love putting this on my lips it feels i mean just like I honestly just it just feels so good um and then <laughs> i have the give me glow lip glosses these are phenomenal so they don't necessarily they don't feel weight they they do have like a little bit of like a kind of like a heaviness to it but it doesn't it is not painful um after a while you don't notice it but it it's just like these um, glosses have like a pigment to them. Whoop. Like it, it's like the opacity of it is wild. So you could easily just do a lip liner and a gloss. You could do, you know, a lip liner, a lipstick and like a gloss in the center that might change the color a little bit. I absolutely love them. They're really nice, really hydrating on the lips has like a really nice like vanilla cupcake type scent which I absolutely love I mean it's just it's fantastic moving on to the give me glow liquid lipsticks again the opacity is there I love the color range that they have it's so comfortable um that's what I have on my lips right now this is in the shade vintage mauve I just love it's like how stunning it is like what is happening? Mm. Like seriously? Love it. It's perfect. 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 It's just, it's perfect. That I just love how like it just like glides right on, on right, glides right on. It sets down nicely. I don't find that it sets down super quick, which is something that I like because sometimes it can take me a little bit to draw the lines, get it filled in nicely. So the fact it doesn't dry down super fast, I absolutely love that. It gives you time to work with it, it, gives you time to like blend out with your finger if need be, you know, clean up any of a, a mess, just stuff like that. So I really do. I love the Give Me Glow formula. Okay. And these do look at these. So these are the Pat McGrath Bridgerton 2 collection lipsticks. Um, so you have like, there was like three of them that came in the blue tube and there was three of them that came in the peach tube. I own all of them. First of all, the packaging is the cutest. This is probably from all of the collections that she has come out with. Has the best packaging, cutest packaging, um, and probably has like the best formula. So this is probably like from any of the Pat McGrath things. I would recommend this 100%. But I love like the packaging. I think that's really super cute. And I love like these like lipsticks like can you see like that shine so it's like these lipsticks it's almost like they're a lipstick with like a little bit of like some glossiness to them which you know I I'm here for I love um, so for me these are just like they're really comfortable I don't feel like I need to go over them with a gloss like I can if I want to but I feel like I don't really need to because it just has like that hydration and like that glossy kind of look to it and the fact that like I can just like lip liner this done out the door healthy plump looking lips love this the very last one that we have is going to be the Fenty Beauty 
uh, gloss bomb. This is in the shade Fussy. I wore this as well. So I just like literally just like take it and it just mm, kind of has a fruity-ish kind of scent. Really, you know, you don't really feel it on the lips. Really smooth. Not like gunky. Not like, you know, collecting in the anything like that like this is just a very good gloss formula um especially you know if you want something that's more like high end you want to feel a little bit bougie here's the fenty literally fantastic so we're finally on to our last category which is going to be blushes and again i feel like with the blushes like it just blew up like there was just so many good blushes so first and foremost we have these stick blushes one is from abh one is from jacqueline here's the thing i can say about both of them both of them are very very creamy here's the jacqueline one very very emollient i love just how easy they are to work with like they're just just so creamy so easy to use hydrating on the cheeks like it's just you know they blend out beautifully. There's nothing I can say that they're that I don't love about these. These are seriously probably some of my best cream, best cream blushes. Another cream blush that I am loving is from LYS. These like little like cream blushes. These are seriously, they're like $16 for these. You get a good amount of product for $16. They are very pigmented, emollient, creamy, blends beautifully, keeps the pigmentation. It's I mean, this, the fact that you get this at Sephora for $16, you get a lot, you get a mirror. The packaging is really nice, cute, sleek, compact. And the formula being as incredible as it is, this is definitely an easy one that you could go pick up and like be completely and totally happy. The first powder blush is this from One Size Beauty. I love this. So this does come with like a cream, you get a matte and you get a beautiful like shimmery blush. Um, do you see like how shimmery like that is like seriously it's so beautiful like it's just like this beautiful um blush like if you're like wanting to eliminate a step not have to really worry about you know highlighter or want something that's a little bit more lit from within just go in with this like seriously it's so good so beautiful the matte is really good really nice and matte um the cream blush again is really good i like how it has like the little flippy thing so anyway you know your powders don't ruin it um, next up is going to be these Give Me Glow blushes. They just came out with these. Seriously, these are so good. What just happened? I have no idea. What just happened here? I literally was swatching and it just... <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> I was literally just swatching and like all this just like came apart. Um, have not had that happen. Okay. Um, interesting. So, um, with these blushes, I love how nicely they blend out. I think that they are very, very good. Nice and matte, really pigmented. Um, I also love like the compact of it. I obviously don't love how like it literally just like all like blew away. That's not my favorite, but I do again. I just think that it's very nice, very pigmented, great formula. It, it's almost like it's like airbrushed on my skin. Like when I put it on, it literally looks like somebody stopped, took a photo of me and airbrushed on the blush. Like, that's how good it looks. Seriously. So good. Next up is going to be this from cover FX. There are these little like monochromatic blush duos. You get a matte one, you get a shimmer one. You can go in with one or the other or both that's what i love about these they're really nice really pigmented i love like the variability that you get i love how good this looks on the cheeks um you know don had mentioned this to me as a subscriber i was like you know what i'm gonna go check these out and i have fallen in love they don't sell this at ulta anymore they don't sell cover fx but they're still on the cover fx website and i would 100 percent just like recommend Next up is going to be the ColourPop Blush Quad. Um, it does come with like a little highlighter. Um, this highlighter is definitely, it's like a super shock and it's definitely one of those if you would like a lit from within type of glow, this is definitely going to be it. So the thing about this palette that I really enjoy is this is definitely more of like a nude kind of quad where if you don't want something like you don't you don't want a punchy blush you don't want something like bam in your face you want something that's going to be really nice and blendable but definitely like good for every day this is a fantastic quad for that the blushes are really nice pigmented but not overly pigmented where it's you know you're going to go overboard and then be like crap 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 um so I like how, you know, they're very nice neutral everyday type tones. And then the highlighter, again, a very nice everyday type of shade, but also not like super glittery, not super intense in your face. Definitely just like a lit from within. 
So then we have this one from Moira Beauty. This is their ombre blushes. I love these. First and foremost, the little, okay, first of all, I need you to open. Ugh. There we go. Like the embossing on here is super beautiful. I love how like you can like either use the top or the bottom or you can like mix them together and like, you know, have like a, have like three blush colors in one. I absolutely love that. I think the formula is really good. I like how whenever you dip your brush in, like the imprint isn't like, you know, crumbling away. I think it was a really good affordable price. These were also like seven or eight bucks. Super good, super good quality. Last up in the blush category is going to be the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Palettes. These are really good, really nice, really pigmented. You have a warm option, you have a cool option that are more like those pinky realms. I think she did a great job with the formula. Again, I love the formula. I love the way it makes my cheek look cheeks look it looks kind of like airbrush um, you know provides that perfect amount of pigmentation that I need but definitely be careful because it is easy to go overboard comes with a nice mirror the packaging is really nice I absolutely love this so that is it for all my favorites I hope that you guys enjoyed I tried to breeze through this to make it not as long but I definitely did have a lot of favorites I love being able to play into makeup and know that there's a lot of things that I'm loving from my collection whether they be new or old I feel like that means that it was worth my money let me know what you guys what some of your guys' favorites are this week I would love to know all of that down below if you guys have not yet subscribed please go ahead do so down below um, and I will see you all in my next one bye